All right, my name is Derek Rivers, and I will be doing my presentation today on the muted group theory. I'll be explaining what the muted group theory is, uh, the four assumptions there are with this theory, and how this theory is used in everyday lives. Well, let's get started. The muted group theory was developed to explain how language was created by men, basically saying how men are still like the dominant group um and women are is that 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 muted group how men's voices are heard more than uh the female's voice uh like for example um there are more men politicians than women so if you turn on the new cb like cnn nbc uh, you will see you'll see more men like like like, like politicians at the podium um and another example is like the presidential like 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 race. There have hardly ever been any women women candidates. Uh, the assumptions for this theory uh, are therefore the first one is men and women have so they they have different perceptions of the world. Now, I guess this would be going back saying that the man is the one that's supposed to go go out and work bring the money to the family uh, provide for them and the women is the one supposed to stay at home cook clean do all this do like like take care of the kids but I feel like that should be an equal it should be an equal balance but I also do think the man should be the one to provide for his family the one who should who should go to work and bring in the money but also still take part in cooking and cleaning and taking care of his wife. Um, the second assumption is men are dominant. The third assumption is women, how women translate. Uh, women, whenever they try to say, whenever they try to give their, their word, they have to, what it's saying is they assume that they try to translate their experiences into the language to where men can understand it um, and the fourth one are is the women's silence basically saying women get ridiculed uh, they don't have like they're, they're controlled in what they say and they get harassed and um, an example of how I guess they use it you, you like this this theory is used today in the world is you can look at the difference between men's like men's sports professional sports and women's professional sports when you turn on ESPN um, if you watch sports they're always talking about the NBA the NFL MLB even even when it comes to college you are but the thing is you hardly hear about the WNBA everybody always makes jokes how they say women's basketball is a joke but in real life there are some girls out there that are better than boys for example my sister I plays and she's gonna be playing collegiate ball and I know she's better than some of the guys that I played that I played with growing up coming out of high, like coming out of high school and uh, and their group is muted compared to the NBA or the NFL and that's my presentation